Well, I'm going to start with the good news that hopefully we're going to see fans back here uh, at Sandy Park next month for the Glasgow game. As a player, it's been weird, I know, but how much of a boost will that be? It'll be huge. Um, I think, you know, hopefully we'll get the 4,000. Um, you know, if it's 2,000, it's still going to make a huge difference. Um, just speaking to, to people back home, um, you know, they're really missing, you know, the, the weekends up at Sandy Park. So just to get them back involved again is going to be huge. Rob and I were talking before the game last week. We said how eerie it was at Twickenham. Normally, you've got that the plane buzz going over. You've got crowd build up. Everything. It's just not until you come out for a warm up that you start to to get that sort of pre game vibe, does it? Yeah, that's. I think that's the that's where I miss it the most personally. I think is that warm up and we do the lap, you know, before we come in to get changed. I think that that scenario that I've had to adapt to and and sort of get myself up in a different way for the game. So um, it'd be great to have that sort of atmosphere. Um, back again, um, but yeah, I mean, we've we've also as a squad we've worked really well on on you know motivating each other and how we stay tight and above one. I think it showed in those in those final few games of last season that, that it's working. Just reflect on those two games, those two finals, magical days for all of us, wasn't it? Oh, it's, you know, I remember it for the rest of my life. Um, was it I better think, than that first time? Um, the, the European for sure was was the pinnacle. Um, just for me, I just remember. When I was younger, watching Toulouse and you know Poitrino and those sort of guys playing, and they were your, your heroes, and just to be able to be part of a team um, that's done that is is you know it's, it's the best thing that I've ever done in my life. I was going to say you're going to be on those adverts now before a start of the season, the Chiefs lifting that trophy, but the whole vibe. But it came from the work that was done post lockdown. You guys had worked so hard then, but the whole squad, and I mean literally every member of that squad, played their part between coming back and, and the end of the season. Yeah, I think just not just the squad, I think the whole organisation as a whole um, to get through COVID, um, you know, unscathed and, and to be able to play, at, you know, our, at, to be able to compete in those last two games, you know, putting out, you know, both strong sides because sides that have, have had, you know, um, have been hit by, by the virus and then have had to like sort of forfeit games and whatever and, you know, all the issues with sale, I think. To come through that is, is you know, a testament to the, to the whole, whole organisation. And the players as well. I remember speaking to Steno that the, the worry you have of the finals week in particular, that, that one, one test and you're gone, aren't you? And you're out of it. Yeah, you can work so hard, you know, like you say, you work through lockdown and, and being involved in all those games and then it ought to be taken, um, you know, in those final few games. So there was a, there was a few nerves when it came to, um, to results tonight. But obviously, uh, two weeks off, everyone recharged their batteries, but it, it's just almost like going back into the season. There was a huge target on you going into Quinns last week, but it's a challenge I imagine you relish and um, one that you're savouring this season. Yeah, I think a lot of people have said, oh, you know, we've not had an awful lot of, of you know, time off, but we've used it in a positive way. And, um, you know, to only have a week and a half, some, you know, sometimes you go in a season where you get a dead leg or you, you get a pick up a small injury and you have a week and a half off and you come back and you're, it's like you've, you've never left. So I think you saw that in bits against Quinns, I think we felt good as a team. Um, you know, we felt like sometimes when you when you hit pre-season and you get a long, you know, break of not playing, it then takes a few games to get, you know, get back um, playing again. So, you know, for us it was a week and a half and we were back in training and we were, we were looking forward to it. So You're minus a few stars last week, but equally it's a chance for others to step up and just being in the debrief after, there's guys talking now that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily think would be leaders, but they are stepping up and saying their bit and it's, it's pushing you all on to what you hope will be another big season ahead. Yeah, definitely. I think there's, there were games towards the end of last season where you know, it was a full squad effort, full 45-man effort, and, and we, we got some great results um, away at Bristol and Northampton. And you know, hopefully you know, those guys now will take the step again you know, in these next few games because we're going to need them. And obviously the panic wasn't there last week. The, the, Rob talked about it, I think several of you boys talked about it after, that you had control throughout. You knew what you were doing. There was no panic. You know every game of Premiership rugby is going to be tough, but you just worked your way through it. And that last quarter in particular, that's where you bore your fruits. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think, yeah, like you say, we're, we're the number one team at the moment and everyone's trying to knock us off the pedestal. So it's going to be really tough this weekend. Um, just from the, the semi-final uh, against Bath, it was a pretty attritional game for 60 minutes. So we're expecting much more of the same. Is it a game obvious reasons for your old links with the club and that that you think right when I look at the calendar and the fixture list this is the ones yeah, um, or is that gone now I wouldn't is, say so I've, I've been at Chiefs for five years now and um, this is very much my home um, but 
it's, it's really nice to play against some old faces, you know, guys that you're in the academy with. So that'll be special, but um, I'm really looking forward to it. And you alluded to there, they were the last people here at Sandy Park, the hurt they must have, and also coming in, let's be honest, on the back of a surprise defeat last week. Most people would have said Newcastle coming back for the first time. There'll be a bit of a wounded animal there. Yeah, they'll be hurt for sure. And I think um, they've got some, you know, some big guys in the forwards um, and the backs, the back three. So um, we'll be, I think it'll be a physical, very, very physical game.